Hey guys, it's me, a little surfetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Badoof Badoof's Wish special episode. Where we last left off, we faced Jirachi, and Jirachi kind of killed us, so we had to go back. So. I did some farming for items, and I'm just going to show you all the stuff I have. So. First off, we're level 14. I'll switch to the big screen so you can see it. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's switch there. We're level 14, as you can see. I think I was level 12 when I left off. I trained up two levels. It's better. I also learned a new move, which I'll show you. Let's just hop over here. Um, moves. We learned Rollout. It's not a very good move, actually. It barely hits at all. Hit ratio. Um, so, yeah, let's just, let's just look at tackles hit ratio and then go back to rollouts. That's not good at all. Other than that, we have a ton of items, a ton of orange berries, a ton of seeds that can stun or make the Pokemon fall asleep. We have one violent seed, which helps our attack and special attack raised. We have two apples, because I don't think that we're going to use them that much. We're not going to use apples that much, and plus there's apples all over the dungeon, so I can collect more if I need to. And of course, we have four reviver seeds. So, I'd say we're as ready as we're going to be. I spent 20 minutes on... I put the emulator that I'm using on fast mode. And just spent 20 minutes going through this. Collecting everything I thought I would need. Yeah, look at this. We're already almost done. We're already two floors into the first section of this. So yeah, basically, once we get to Jirachi, I'll use the Violent Seed, and then we'll put Jirachi to sleep. Oh, come on. Let me fix the volume. Yeah, the volume's fixed. Basically, orbs don't work. I found that out the hard way. They suck. Was that another reviver seed? That's a totter seed, which is fine. But I have enough of those that I don't really need them. I have enough of the seeds that do that type of stuff that I don't really need it, so we're not going to collect it. Basically, once we get to Jirachi, I will put it to sleep probably first. And then we'll maximize our attack, and then we'll just fight. Until it wakes up, we'll throw another seed, obviously. And then just keep going. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't lose that many Reviver Seeds, so I can carry them over to my main playthrough. Run. Okay, I won't fight you. Fight you too. So yeah, fingers crossed we don't lose that many seeds. Of we don't lose that many reviver seeds. Which I don't necessarily think I will. It seems as though with all the healing items that I have on me that I'm not gonna lose my reviver seeds not lose all of them ooh that's a ribbon ooh that's a ribbon what's that ribbon the stamina band suppresses hunger well that would that would have been useful a while ago so i wouldn't use hunger 
Okay, that's just a totter. See, that's a luminous orb. That's not useful until we get to the future. Oh, story spoilers! Even though this game came out well over a decade, I'm pretty sure, ago. Possibly. I don't remember when this game came out. I mean, I wasn't a Pokemon fan whenever this game came out. I mean, now I am, because Pokemon's awesome. But I wasn't then. So yeah, we're halfway through. I think, unless I have to do... Deep... I think there's Deep Start Pit, which is fine. If I have to do another set of floors. It shouldn't be too difficult. Because getting through that wasn't difficult, so I don't think this is going to be difficult. Hi, Psyduck. Ooh, got some more Graveler Rock. Ooh, wait a minute. I do have a way... ...of making sure I can hold more of those Graveler Rocks, because for some reason... ...they don't like to stack when you take them out... ...of a PC. Not a PC, the Kangaskhan storage. So if you place them on the ground and walk over them, they stack. So now I have two extra bag spaces open for items. Hopefully we'll get something good. Probably not, the later floors don't seem to ever have anything good in this dungeon. Or at least, I haven't seen any. Ah, run, run. Oh, don't put me to sleep. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I lost a revive seed on a stupid gulpin. That's just great. Ooh, radar orb. Oh, I remember from Mystery Dungeon DX, the whole game just basically has, like, a radar orb equipped the entire time. It's not like an actual equipped item. It's more along the lines of... It's... The effect of the radar orb is always present in that game. Wow, bronze on. Whatever your name is, Bronzong. I couldn't think of how to pronounce your name for a minute. You cannot attack. Oh, hi, Psyduck. Like, Psyduck did damage better than Bronzong, and the move Psyduck uses is definitely worse than what. Okay, there's another four. That's what I was expecting. This is like the first dungeon, I think, to ever have three sets of floors. Yeah, I think this is the first dungeon to actually have three sets of floors. In the, and I think it's the only dungeon that I've ever played that has that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, do not remind me of that dungeon. Oh, I forgot. That's something we have to do. The Reggie dungeon. Oh, I don't want to do that ever again. Can't I just, like, cheat or something? I don't want to do that. I don't want to go through that torture again. That was literally the worst. I hated, like, every second of those episodes. Oh, run, 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 run. Oh, look, the weather's not changing. There's a band. That's like, prevents me from being poisoned, right? Oh uh, no! A sandstorm- and you turned it sunny. Why did you do that? No, I'm actually confused why Bronzong did that. Like, that would benefit him, because I take damage and he doesn't because he's a steel type. I mean, from what I've seen, he hasn't tried to use any fire moves, so... Using Sunny Day wouldn't give you that effect. So I don't... 
exactly know why he didn't. Why he did that, but I will not complain. Also, I don't know if I said this, but I have Max Elixirs too. In the case that we need them. In the case that we do use our moves during the fight, and I need Max Elixirs. I have, I think, at least two. Which I don't think we're going to use them. I mean, this is early game. Wait till we get to Hidden Land before we start using tons of Max Elixirs. You literally do, like, no damage, Bronzong. I don't know why you're fighting me. Oh, thanks. You led me to a dead end. That's another dead end. Oh, there's not another dead end. There's probably the... the place. Here's the Jirachi fight again. Hey, Jirachi! I've come back. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm sleepy. Yawn. I am Jirachi. Who are you? I'm Badu. That's what I've been telling you since the beginning. Hmm, I'm so sleepy. I tend to act strangely when I sleep and cause trouble all around me, so I apologize again. Uh, I thought this before. He isn't really asleep, is he? Ready, Snorf. Oh, we're fighting Jirachi. Ah! We're in the battle! Um, yeah, the orbs don't do anything. So, let's throw this. Meanwhile, we'll take this. And let's attack. Oh, don't think you're getting away that easily. So let's see if... Well, I'll actually hit. Just won't roll out to hit once. I just won't roll out to hit once. I, I just want it to hit once. It hit. It hit twice in a row. I should stop using it. But now I'm gambling at this. Yeah, I should stop and actually heal before I lose the fight. I mean, Drachi's not doing any attacks toward me. Okay. I overprepared for this fight. Ah, uh, what's going on? Ah! Uh. Ha! Huh. All right, I'm fully awake. So so awake. My name is Jirachi. Um, who are you? I'm Bidoof. Golly, how many times do I need to tell him? Your name is Bidoof. So Bidoof. You better listen well. I grant wishes for those who manage to wake me up. Wow, all of a sudden? Uh, I'm not ready for this yet. Ahem, <clears throat> alright, I'll listen. What is your wish, Bidoof? M my wish? My wish is, um... To rule the world. Oh gosh, no. Um... I want to become rich. Yes. Yes. That's a really nice wish and all, but but my dream. Huh? Something wrong? What's your wish, Badoof? Something wrong? You don't have a wish? But my dream is to become the best explorer ever. Yep, yep. The best explorer? Got it. That's pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Ah, wait! A moment, please! Huh? What is it? Golly, well, my dream is to become the best explorer ever. That's true. At first, I thought I'd come down here and ask you for that. But I'm giving up on that plan. Truly? Why? Because because I've come to see it's not something you can wish for. You've got to work hard. Once you've really done your best, put in the effort, 
then you can feel like a true worthy explorer. You've got you've got to have lots of experiences, lots of feelings and memories. Those are the ways you learn, grow, and get better, little by little. Yep, yep. Yes, siree. I've got a lot clearer on all this stuff during this adventure. So my ad wish is to be the best adventure. So my wish to be the best adventure ever, Jirachi. I'm not asking for that anymore. I see. Well spoken. So you don't have any wishes? What you've just said, it shows something about you. Not everyone can resist being greedy. You're a good Pokemon, Bidoof. I've come to like you. So if you don't have a wish right now... Oh, wait, just a moment, please. Yep, yep. What is it? You just said a nice thing about me not being greedy, Jirachi. So maybe I shouldn't ask. It's alright, go ahead. If you'll still grant me a wish... I wish... I wish for a buddy who I could teach stuff to. A buddy? You're training at the guild, aren't you, Badoof? So you want a buddy, Badoof. Someone who can show you... Someone you can show around and give a helping hand to. Th that's right. During this adventure, I... Golly, thanks to the guildmaster and everyone in the guild caring about me, I feel so incredibly happy, yep. But I don't want to get used, used to it and start acting spoiled or anything. That's why, that's the reason I'd like a pal or two. Maybe if I had a buddy, a pal I could share what I learned with, I'd get better and better as I push forward. Know what I mean? Yes, got it. Your wish, Bidoof. I'll make it come true. Really? Yep, maybe it won't be soon, but sooner or later, you'll see some new faces at the guild. You should look forward to it. And that's how the two of us entered the building. Thank you, Jirachi. Thank you so much. <laughs> and that's how... And so... And so my exploration of Star Cave came to an end. Yep, yep. And now... Huh? Sir Fetch? Your eyes look a bit puffy. Sir Fetch, what's wrong? Couldn't sleep? Huh, my eyes too. I see. We're pretty busy every day with assignments, aren't we? You've just entered the guild, and there's still so much we don't know, but let's keep at it. Really, there really is a new apprentice. And not only that, there are two of them. <laughs> Trachi, thank you so much. Yup, yup. As your older brother, as your older buddy, Sir Fetch and Allie, I won't let you down. I'm going to work hard at my guild training each and every day. And that is it for Badoop's story. I didn't think there'd be credits. Um, guess we just gotta sit here then and talk about stuff. So, what's new? Uh, I think this series is probably going to actually go up after... What is it? It's going to go up after the Platinum Farfetch run that I'm recording, that I've already recorded. This is the first series since March that's not pre-recorded. Well, it's going to be pre-recorded when I release it, but right now I'm just recording it, obviously. So we're going to do the Platinum Farfetch run. We're going to release that, and then this series, and then after that, I have a plan for another Farfetch'd run in my favorite DS Pokemon game, Heart Gold. And then I asked my friends which other game I'd like to try for a Farfetch'd run, and they said black or white, so we're gonna do one of those. Probably because I played the black version before, I'll just stick with it again. I mean, Reshiram is a pretty cool legendary, so I mean... Getting Reshiram, even though I can't use it in the far best run, it's still pretty cool. Looks like the credits are already done. Wow, short credits. So yeah, that's what I kind of have planned moving forward. But with the... Platinum, with the Heart Gold 
far-fetched run. I don't have all of it recorded. I have up to the fourth gym done as of this recording. I'm probably going to finish this series and then... Oh. Ooh! Okay, I'm glad I get to actually choose... What I want. Let's just... Let's... Hold on. Petra Berry. Don't need the heal seed. We're keeping that stuff. I don't need all these apples. Chestnut berries, cherry berries. I never use the berries anyway, and I can always, like, collect them along the way, so... Uh, let's just... Get rid of the thorns, too. They suck. And the geo pebbles. We don't need those. Uh, we don't need all these apples. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. And now, I get, like, everything here. That's awesome. I get literally everything here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just give up on the rest of them. And look at all that money. We have $5,000. So, let's continue back in the main game. Oh, wow. We're back. It's like we never left. Wow, let's go check out what's going on. I think it's a filler day. I believe it's a filler day. Yep, it's a filler day. Let's go take on an outlaw. Let's go... Let's go see... Ooh, I haven't done taking on multiple missions at once in a long time. Uh, there's Mount Bristol. All these are Mount Bristol. Let's do that. Is there anything over here at Mount Bristol? That doesn't, like... Uh, do these interfere with each other? Okay, none of these interfere with each other. That's awesome. That's great. So, uh, we're gonna take on five jobs in the same place, which is crazy. Something we've not done in this series yet. I mean, we've taken on lots of jobs at once in previous series. Oh, hello. Let me frighten the Badoof. Let's be brave and go on our exploration. Hi, Badoof. Wait, there's... There's a guy there. Wait a minute. I didn't think Wobbuffet was supposed to speak other than Wobbuffet. Or is that just... Only in Red and Blue Rescue Team and DX? I think it's only in that game. So, let's... I think it'll tell us when we're at a floor with a rescue mission or whatever. Was that a reviver seed? That's an XI seed. It's an X. Uh, that's a stick. Gotta get used to our old move set again. And also the fact that we're level 9 instead of level 14. Oh, there's a dead end. Do I have, like, any other moves? I have Quick Attack! That did nothing, and I'm depressed. Why did you do nothing? Oh, I'm already level 10. Look at that! Can I tell a teammate to act on the tactic? tactic? Wait there. Okay. So, I just essentially gained a new tactic. That's cool. Wait, Crocky, why aren't you leveling up? I mean, Allie. 
Dang it, I'm gonna forget that name every single time, aren't I? You're a new character, okay? Crocky was in the old series. He's a croconaw. He's not gonna be anything more than a croconaw because I do not like for alligator. But since you're Alley, you can be a for alligator once we get there. Ow. Oh no, I'm slowed. No, it doesn't matter. Alley just does everything. I didn't mean to- wait, you didn't- but you didn't- but how did- how did that- what? 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 How did that- why did that poison him? So it's this floor is when they start. Oh, it's a reviver seed. I think that's an item that I can use. I think that's legitimately an item that isn't something I have to give back to someone. That Reviver Seed is actually an item. Wait, can I throw... Can I throw something at you? Throw it! Oh, you stupid. Uh, I need to heal. I need to actually drop something. Let's eat an apple. Man, I remember in DX2, everything's so different from DX, but in DX you could like switch your team leader just in the mission for no reason whatsoever. Just like, you know, in the middle of a mission, you can just switch who your team leader is. Like, as early as like the first time you become a team, I think is when you can do that. Which is crazy. Like, there's no way you should be able to do that. Oh, there's Shellos! But I mean, I think a lot of features... No, 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 I don't want to leave. There was a lot of features. No, stop it! There were definitely a lot of features in the new Mystery Dungeon that are broken. For example, the special quality, the rare quality Rapid Bullseye is so broken. Oh, there's, there it is. That's stupid. The special quality Rapid Bullseye is so so broken because it basically means that however many times a move that can hit multiple times is gonna hit it's gonna hit them can I still hit this guy I can still hit him I can still hit him from here Come on, you can't be serious that I can still hit him from here. I think I lost the outlaw, which really sucks. Yep, don't do it, got away. Oh, shoot. I hate those outlaws that can leave. Use water gun. There, you stupid. It was not your fault, Allie. That was that. That was your fault right there. Actually, technically, it was Allie's fault for missing the attack. I mean, come on, man. You're supposed to be a toted isle on a rescue team. Am I saving someone here? Or am I not? 
What is it with the shallows? What is it with the shallows? I can't kill it. I literally couldn't kill it for some reason. Why is it not... Why is this thing not dying? Why? What is happening? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Like seriously, why is this thing not dying? Is it broken? Because I... It doesn't seem like it's a... What do you call it? An outlaw? Because the music's not playing. I'm so confused. What is going on? Like, I can barely do any damage to it. Sticks are doing nothing, so let's stop using those. I think this Shellos is broken. Or it wasn't. Okay, it was the outlaw. It was legitimately the outlaw, and it just wasn't telling me that it was. I was so confused, it wasn't dying. I guess it just wasn't telling me that it was the outlaw? For some reason, I guess maybe outlaws can do that sometimes? Oh, is it right here? Oh, what? Okay, where's the decoy orb? Where's the decoy orb? There's gotta be one on this floor. Ow, okay, okay. Okay, I quit, I quit, I quit. Quit! Help me! I'm dying! Oh, just imagine if the, I had accidentally... Well, you know what? I failed another mission. I'm so sorry, Spinarak. It was not my plan to do that. Ow. It's not my plan to do that. Looks like we're only completing, like, three. Okay. It looks like we're only completing, like, three of the actual missions that I set out to complete. Unintentionally, by the way. Almost lost to that Shellos one. I mean, come on, man. That was, like, completely unfair. It didn't even tell me that it was the Outlaw. Like, I feel like common courtesy for Outlaws... You should tell me if you're an Outlaw. Like, come on, man. How am I supposed to know?
Come on, stop touching the actual screen. Is this another disguised outlaw? <clears throat> Better not be. Oh, look, we're level 11. Probably should all the Pokemon we fought in this dungeon. Oh, it's the outlaw. Oh, it's the outlaw, all right. Oh, it's the outlaw, all right. wasn't what I meant to do at all. Alright. Okay, let's eat the blast seed. Wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Uh, let's eat the blast seed. Oh, you stupid. Drop the slumber orb. Yes. Yes, I actually want to leave this time. I completed three missions. Is that good enough for you, Chatot? Is that good enough? I wanted to complete more, but that didn't obviously work at all in my favor. I'm not gonna rank up. I wanna rank up. I wanna rank up, please. Oh, yes, Reviver Seed. Rank up! I'm Bronze Rank. Oh, yes. I'm Bronze Rank, and I got a Citrus Berry. Does that mean I can continue the story for just a little bit before we have to end off this episode? Maybe we'll be Chapter 25? Chapter 5? We're not that far into the game yet. Well, technically, we've done 20 chapters in the first game, and now 5 chapters. Chapter 5, the first official mi expedition. Up and Adam, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Sir Fetch. Would you like to save? I would not like to save. Allie, why are you only 10? Uh, ahem. Everyone listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place called Tree Shed... Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? Eek, what did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey, hey, hey! Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. The wind has stopped, the clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall, they just hang there suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. T time has stopped? But how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable! Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because ti Tree Shroud Forest's time gear was stolen. Huh? The time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop. Hey, hey, hey. I'd heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it, though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others also may be in danger. The officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Let's go on our mission. Oh, you there. You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you all will finally be assigned to mission... You'll... You will... You all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. R really Woohoo! Let me see your wonder map. 
Oh, look at that tiny wonder map. Treasure Town is here, and over here is where we would like you to investigate. See, there is a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've, recent, we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. That's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand? Yes. Good. All right. I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Uh, are you all right? Yep. I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be our first real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Yeah, I might just burst from the excitement. Let's do this right, Sir Fetch. And pose. Let's go drop off some items first, because I need to drop off some items. Oh, we're going to learn about the team swap thing. Huh? What's Chameco up there? Up to there? Hey, what's going on over here? I just started an assembly here. Today, in fact. Assembly? Yes. For assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Allie? Other members? Well, sure. It'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us, it sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, we need to start recruiting new members. Yeah, how do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team Azure. Here goes. Hey ya! And that bell means that we can now. That that bell means that now Team Azure has the power to recruit new members. R really? Yes. From now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them, and those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Azure. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly, then choose which members should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes new recruits. Great, thanks, Chimeko. Let me guess, because I think you can actually do it from outside, too. Maybe, possibly. Am I going to go out there and he's going to be out there and I'm going to be scared? <gasps> it's the cafe! Huh? What's going on? Stairs in a place like this. Something's written on the sign. Huh? What? It says, Spinda's Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams. Opening soon. Win big. Looks like a new shop's opening up, huh? But hopes and dreams? What kind of shop is that? Let's come back after it's open and check it out. Uh, excuse me. S that's stupid. I want to. I want to go deposit some money. Actually, let's see what we have to buy first. Oh come on, Electivire's not here yet. I mean, I can't use what I want to use, but like, come on, I want to have him here. Uh, we don't need anything. It looks like okay. Can I sell anything? Is there anything I want to sell? No, absolutely not. Uh, let's go. Store some items. No, let's not do that. No, let's not do that. I said stop it! What does this thing do? No, well, pretty self-explanatory. I do not know why I didn't think it did that. Okay, let's, since we have basically everything we could ever want now, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. Oh, these special episodes are broken. Oh, these special episodes are broken. Okay, let's leave. Wait, actually, do you have a cool TM for so? Do you have a cool TM that I can use? No! 
You had Ice Beam one time, but Badoop didn't have enough money. Other than, you know, the special $7,000, which we have not seen. Ever. So what? We're headed to Waterfall Cave. Secret Waterfall. Which I think turns into Waterfall Cave, so I don't know why we're hiding it. So this is the waterfall that's supposed to have a secret. Whoa! That waterfall, that water's pounding down. Try getting close to the waterfall, Sir Fetch. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. Ah! Yeah, see? It's crazy. If you fell under that waterfall, I thought you'd get all bruised up. I don't think it'd be pouring down this hard. Where are we even supposed to begin looking? Hmm. Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. It's the scream. <gasps> That's Wiggly Tough. I know it. And not because I've played this game before, but because that's obviously Wiggly Tough. I don't know why they tried to hide it. It happened again. I saw something. What did I just see? Huh? What's up, sir, bitch? What? You had another vision? But this time, you saw lone Pokemon jump into this waterfall. And not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm. It looks like the water is coming... But it looks like that water is coming down really hard. Like, what? Come on. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, Sir Fetch, what do you think? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Do you really think there's a cave there? Yes, I do. I didn't say anything, but apparently I agree with him. Well, alright. I'm gonna believe you, Sir Fetch. Yes, I totally believe in you, Sir Fetch. Yikes. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm going for it, I have to go for it without any hesitation. I need to summon my courage. Ready? Let's go, Sir Fetch. Three, two, one, now! Ah! Huh, what's on the truth? Yo, yo, yo! What is this? Yes, it's a cave. You were right after all, Sir Fetch. Let's go explore the cave. Let's see what secrets it holds. Yep, I was totally right from the very beginning that this is Waterfall Cave. I looked it up. There's eight floors. I just needed to know if... Because I didn't... I don't know. I just needed to know how many floors that was. Don't judge me for looking it up. Yay! Level 11. Just want to know, like, around how much longer this episode's gonna end up being. Just what? We've got... Why are you taking no damage? Oh, because I wasn't even using Tackle. Okay, I guess I'll have Sir Skit join the team. Ooh, he's level 11 already. We have a new member! The XI Seed. I think that's not a look like Seed. And I used one earlier in this episode, but I already can't remember what it was called, so that's a thing. Yeah, so apparently I wasn't holding the L button at all up on the top left of the screen, and it was like, well, you're not actually using Tackle, so... I'm only gonna do 7 damage! Look at our new friend. 
Sir Skit. We have Sir Fetch, and now we have Sir Skit. Despite, you know, that not actually working how it should work. At least because Sir Skit is S U R and I'm S I R. But, you know, it sounds the same, so why can't it be the same? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to, I'm not gonna do it in this series, but also, when we were talking about Rescue Team DX, because I love talking about that game, that game's fun. Um, I wanted to complete the Pokedex in that, which I'm working toward that goal. I'm also working on getting every shiny. There's like 20 shiny Pokemon in there. Ah. Like, I've set goals for myself. Um, because I remember in the series that I did. Oh, well, that's death. Thanks, Tangela. You're my friend. So I remember in the series that we did for Rescue Team, Blue Rescue Team, I didn't heal at all. I mean, I didn't evolve Psyduck until, like, we absolutely needed to in, what was the dungeon? Um, the Bane of My Existence dungeon, whatever it's supposed to be. It's been so long, but I don't remember what it's called anymore. Oh, hello. Yeah, I legitimately can't think of it. It's that one that has Lugia at the top, I believe. Silver Trench. That's what it is. I couldn't think of it. Wow. But yeah, once we got to Silver Trench, obviously I couldn't keep the not evolving Psyduck thing going on anymore. But in this, but in DX, like, Silver Trench was weak, and I was actually pretty sad. Because I had prepared to get through it and everything. Like, I prepared stuff to get through it, I leveled up enough, and it was a cakewalk. Like, that's the one thing I'm sad about the DX game, is that they made dungeons like that so easy. Like, come on, I want to be challenged. <gasps> yes, I want Lotad. I want Lotad. Lotad's a cool Pokemon. I mean, we're not going to have a second team member. We're not going to have a third team member, unlike... What is it? We're not going to have a second team member unlike a third team member unlike rescue team because I mean so much stuff happens without your partner without the ability to have a third partner on your team that it just makes more sense to just forego having that third Pokemon on your team that so eh. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put me to sleep. Don't do that. Don't do that. Fetch? Not fetch. Allie? Why did you do nothing? What was the point in doing nothing? I made it through. I made it through! Wow, check that out, Sir Fetch. Look at all the gems sparkling. Hey, check that out. It's a gigantic gem! Awesome! I've never seen a gem this humongous! This is an incredible treasure! Everyone's gonna be really impressed when we take this back with us! Oh... Uh, uh, uh. Nope, it's not budging. Joy really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Sir Fetch? I mean, 
I only, I have, I don't even have hands, I have paws. This is really stuck. It won't budge. Uh, nope, no good. So you couldn't move it either, Sir Fetch. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go, Sir Fetch. I only have paws, so I don't know how that was supposed to work, but you know. Uh, uh, hmm. It's not budging one bit. So let's scream. Oh no. It's happening again. It's uh, the scream. It's wiggly tough. Wiggly tough. Accidentally pressed the button and now the cave is exploding. No! Sir Fetch! Don't do it! But that was... Uh, I can't get it out. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, that's... Oh, no! Huh? What's going on? Ah, it's a flood! And we're dead. Ah! I knew it. I knew we were gonna die. Ah. A cool little thing that I think they do. Do they do that? Yeah, they have your teammates there. Uh, what? Where are we? Hi, hi. Are you two okay? You plumped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. I didn't mean to do that. Where are we? This is the hot spring. A hot spring? Indeed, this is the hot spring. And the hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, sure we do. Unfold it for me. There, here we are. This is the hot spring's location. Oh, I get it. The waterfall is over here, so... Hey, check this out, Sir Fetch. The water carried us all the way over here. My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. We are playing around in the hot spring. Yes, we'll, we're not going to see our adventure. We'll talk to Chat Tot. Hmm, let me see if I got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there is a gigantic gem. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to a distant hot spring. Is that the gist of your report? Yep. What's really disappointing is that we couldn't bring the gem back. No, no, no. Empathetically, no. This is a major discovery. R really Undoubtedly. After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall. No one knew about that before now. Oh, I see. We made a discovery. When I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of that Pokemon I saw. It was familiar. Almost like I know the Pokemon. Almost like... I've been playing Pokemon for four years so I can tell the shape of Pokemon. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape. There's no mistaking it. It's wiggly tough. It's wiggly tough. That was wiggly tough. Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. The guildmaster must be told. Huh? What's up, Sir Fetch? Huh? You're saying that Wigglytuff has been to the waterfall before? No, no, no. Empathetically, no. That's inconceivable. If that were so, the Guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate that place, right? Hmm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. Hmm. But why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should be used to it by now. 
These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, chat dot? What? what? Oh, n nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I will go confirm what you told me with the guild master. Please wait here. We're waiting, we're waiting. Chat talk comes back. So, how did it go? When I asked the guild master, he mulled it over for a bit, and then he said, Oh, memories, sweet memories, Yumta. Then he danced around a bit, and then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the guildmaster said. To sum it up, just as Sir Fetch suspected, he has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh, is that so? That's so disappointing. I really thought we discovered a new place. I wish Wiggly Tough had told us right from the start. The guildmaster can be rather, uh, erratic at times. Even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Erf. It's all my fault, I guess? Wow. What a... terrible person that has self-confidence has to destroy... his own mission. By saying, yeah, the place has been discovered before. Today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. Ugh. We went through a lot today, didn't we? But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration. I thought I was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me feel glad I became an exploration team member. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's my dream. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from happiness. Ha 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 ha. But seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you, Sir Fetch. Yep. I need some of my courage. Let's jump in the waterfall. I'm the biggest chicken around. I even... And even I managed to work up the courage. It was all because you were with me, Sir Fetch. Seriously, Sir Fetch, thanks. Oh, yeah! You know what I was thinking? I noticed something about your dizzy spell, Sir Fetch. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Come to think of it, Allie's right. When I heard his girl scream, it was because I touched the apple, and then I handed it to Azuril, and then I screamed. And that other time, when Drowsy bumped into me. That mean old Drowsy. And then we were exploring Waterfall Cave, and I touched the waterfall, and that really hurt, apparently. And then I touched the gem, and that ended up hurting pretty badly. It, it's true. It was always after touching something, that's when I got those dizzy spells. When I touch something, I can see something connected to it, right? There's another thing. The time we rescued a zero, you saw something in the future. But this time, you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means... This time you saw something that happened in the past. Th that's true. In other words, Sir Fetch, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have some kind of special ability. This could be something totally awesome. You could use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring, either. The ability could be useful for many things. This is awesome, Sir Fetch. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. That doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It would be useful if I could have visions when I wanted to, but... Hey, you two! The Guildmaster wants to see you right away! Oh, I thought we were going to be in trouble. Guildmaster, I brought you Team Azur! Guildmaster! Guildmaster! Hiya! Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning about a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring a nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go to the expedition. R really? 
Usually we would never, ever consider rookies for to be exposition members. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. R really? Now, now. You haven't been chosen as expedi expedition members yet. There is still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yep. An expedition? Isn't it amazing, Sir Fetch? My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's do our best and make sure we get picked for the expedition. And pose. Beautiful. We're on chapter 6. Team Skull. From my favorite game, Ultra Sun and Moon. Up and out of it's morning. We're going to take this on next time, though, because we're literally almost as long as the last part was. So let's save our adventure. It's not going to matter anyway. Actually, it will if this video doesn't save for some reason. That's it for the second episode of Badoof Swish and also the fourth episode of the entire series. Next time, we'll see what Team School is up to and we'll get to meet their leader. I think, yeah, we'll get to meet the leader. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Mystery Dungeon video.